Vamos sobre Tía Chucha's Café Cultural, o Centro Cultural. Y here's the poem. Every few years, Tía Chucha would visit the family in a tornado of song and open us up as if we were an overripe avocado. She was a dumpy, black-haired creature of upheaval who often came unannounced with a bag of presents, including homemade perfumes and colognes that smelled something like rotting fish on a hot day at the tuna cannery. They said she was crazy. Oh, sure, she once ran on naked to catch the postman with a letter that didn't belong to us. I mean, she had this annoying habit of boarding city buses and singing at the top of her voice. One bus driver even refused to go on until she got off. But crazy? To me, she was the wisp of the wind's freedom, a music maker who once tried to teach me guitar, but ended up singing and singing, me listening and her singing, until I put the instrument down and watched the clock click the lesson time away. I didn't learn guitar, but I learned something about her craving for the new, the unbroken, so she could break it. Periodically, she banished herself from the family and was the better for it. I secretly admired Tia Chucha, She was always quick with a story, another pepito joke, or a handwritten lyric that she would produce regardless of the occasion. She was a desperate of desire, uncontainable as a splash of water on a varnished table. I wanted to remove the layers of unnatural scene, the way Tia Chucha beheld the world, with first eyes like an infant who can discern the elixir within milk. I wanted to be one of the prizes she stuffed into her rumpled bag. So that's my poem for my dear Chucha.